Hello there, and today I'm going to be telling you how you can get a grade 9 in GCSE Physics. I did triple science personally, but it doesn't really matter, you, you revise the same anyway. Of course, we start off with the revision guide, CGP, not sponsored, really useful. This is second hand, like someone dropped it off at a street library near my house, so um, a bit messed up, but it still does the same thing, like it gives you all the same information. Now, for physics, it's much more specific in the mark scheme, what they want to see from you, like you need specific words. So doing past papers is important, but doing past papers is also kind of, I felt, my downfall. So let me show you how to do them in the right way. So the first thing you want to do, physics specifically, you really need to understand the content and that's hard because it's hard, like it's hard to explain physics and it's hard to understand physics. I'm doing physics A level and I don't know what's going on, but you don't necessarily need to like the subject. You just need to be able to apply it. You need to make sure you're good at maths as well. That's step one. Please make sure you understand the content. If you don't go to your physics teachers, if they don't explain it well, you should go on like student forums or look up that topic and there's loads of videos. Cognito do really good videos. There's my GCSE science videos as well. So do that before you do any past papers because there's no point in applying your knowledge if you don't have that knowledge to begin with. Now, my second tip would be to make sure you do your past papers after your mocks. In your mocks, they will use past paper questions that you've never seen. And that's just like how it's going to be in your real exams. Because I did, well, my teacher made us do some past paper questions and they came up in the mocks. And the thing is, you've seen those questions before. So you don't have the idea of what it's like when you've never seen the question before. And you're like, oh, I actually need to think about this. You're kind of like, oh, what was, what did I write last time I did this question? You know, and I had that in the real exam and that really scared me because I was like, wait, I now, I don't know, I've never seen any of these questions before. I'm not really sure what I need to do. Saving those past paper questions to go after your mocks, it, it is really useful. And if you wanna do some practice questions before your exams, I would go on PMT and look at old specification questions because they're gonna be like the same, but they're gonna be different, you know? Um, so I would do that. Just like with all of the other sciences, I would say sort the past papers out by topic. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, um, I do mention how you do that, but I'll mention it quickly here. You print out all of the past papers um, one-sided. It uses up a lot of paper. If you can do this digitally, that would be optimum, but I don't have the text to do that. Uh, like I don't have an iPad or... Anyway, um, you print it out individually and you, sort, you sit down and you just sort it out by topic. It's quite long. And to make the mark scheme, you like look at the bottom and it will say like 2018, 2019, and you copy and paste it all into one Word document and it takes a long time, but it's definitely worth it because then you can do the revision by question. And if you, if you get a question wrong, I would circle the top bit here um, in pencil. Then you know for next time to look back at the question. I would not write on this. Um, I would see it's still blank because I used to write my answers on a separate piece of paper. This makes it more reusable and like now my sisters can use these, like they can add like 2022, 2023 paper questions in here that I haven't added. And once you do all of the past papers, you can also get um, a grade eight to nine targeted workbook if you want. Um, it gives you more practice and more exam questions. And make sure you get the right exam board Again, I would not write on the workbook itself. I would write on a sheet of paper next to it so I could reuse this if I wanted to. And if you're not sure on a question and you don't get it from the answer, you can take it to your teacher and ask them if they could explain it to you. Um, but this is really good if you're, if you're aiming for those top grades, grade eight to nine. And then if you want even more practice, you can get the flashcards, which I did get. If you walk to school, if you go on a bus or buy a car or anything like that, um, these are really useful because then you just take out a card um, read the front, there's a question prompt, and then you flip it around and answer on the back. Or you can get your family to ask you these questions, like um, sometimes I walked to school with my mum, she was walking my dog, and she would have the answers, the questions, and I would uh, say the answers. Or like if you walk with your siblings or anything like that, you can get them to help you. But physics, especially physics, a lot of the same things come up. I remember, you know that um, fast paper question about like the carpet and stuff? about electrostatic forces. The same sort of thing came up. They had a different picture of a carpet on, in my exam, but the same sort of question came up. And because I'd like done those past paper questions, I was able to reapply my knowledge and put it into those questions. You can definitely do past papers more than once. 
I would keep doing them until you get them all correct and make a spreadsheet if you're not doing them by topic. To start my past paper revision, I would always do it by topic. But then once I've finished all of those by topic, maybe sometimes I'll do like an overall paper to get an idea of what the different topics together are like. But yeah, those are my main tips for GCSE physics. Definitely step one is probably the hardest, understanding the content. Yeah, I for A-level physics, that's still what I'm doing now. I'm trying to understand the content. Um, and then I'll do past paper questions. Try not to do past paper questions too early. Definitely do them, but I would say do them like after March time, after your last set of mocks, whenever they are. Don't leave it too late. Don't start in May. Like that's way too far. Uh, I, I think I started like during the Easter holidays doing past paper questions, which is around like March, April, May. Yeah, and you got like two months in study leave to do them. Know your weaknesses. Look at the topics that you found harder to do or you're not getting right consistently until you can get them consistent. I would put all of like the math C questions together. Look at what formulas and what values are given. You're given those values for a reason. So try and like look on the formula booklet. I think you've got a formula sheet or memorize all of the formulas and then write them down, the ones that are relevant and see, oh, I'm missing this value. I need to get this value in order to get the other value. I see it's like a full marker, maybe I need to use the first half of my answer to get this value. Like maybe I'm doing resistance and I've I've been given charge and time. Oh, I need to find current. And oh, I use that current and that potential difference that they've given me to find resistance uh, using V equals IR, something like that. So use the knowledge that they've given you and apply it. I wish you the best of luck with your revision. If you found this video useful and my tips useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you in another video. See ya.